We didn't come to paint. We came to win the game. Welcome to the Hog Zone. We are live outside War Memorial Stadium, Arkansas. Mississippi State will kick off at 2.30 on CBS, just like the sign says, the SEC on CBS. What a great day. Perfect weather out here. Ayana Crystal, Mark Edwards joins us, guys. The team came through a couple of minutes ago. The fans, they're here like always. There's nothing like War Memorial Stadium in the Razorbacks. Got the tailgating going on. Uh, the players came. Everybody looked happy. Everybody looked excited. Jerry is right. Uh, Joe Adams, they, I mean, they tried to touch as many hands as they could. Kids were so excited to shake Joe Adams' hands. What's really cool, I had a great advantage point up there to watch the buses come down Markham, and I've always heard about it, but you just see all these fans flock to Markham, and they're blocks away, and it's just lined up too deep for the fans to see them coming in. Well, it's a great opportunity for the Razorbacks. They can pick up their 10th win of the season today. They haven't had back-to-back 10-win -back seasons since 1989. 89, that was a good year. That, I graduated high school. I graduated high school in 89. Were that was a good year. That? I was alive, but I wasn't in high school. <laughs> well, this is a day to make history, and hopefully Arkansas doesn't overlook Mississippi State like what happened last night with Oklahoma State. You guys and see Iowa that State. Oh, my gosh. Iowa State <laughs> hung around. We, we hope that doesn't happen today. You don't need them to hang around and then stay in the game and then win it late. That's but a, that's a good luck for the Hogs, though, that they did. Well, I think it's a wake-up call. I know those guys were tweeting and they were watching the game. The Razorbacks saw what happened. I think it's a reminder. Mm -hmm. we got to be ready to play. We can't take anything for granted. And, of course, with the Razorback basketball team playing at, Alta or at Verizon Arena last night, I didn't go on the air and say that this was going to be an easy win because remember I said that a few years ago about Appalachian State. <laughs> <laughs> Appalachian State beats the basketball team. And the first thing the coach says at his press conference after the game was, I want to thank the guy from Channel 11 last night <laughs> telling us we couldn't win the game. So all weekend, I didn't say a word. But the thing is, you can't look past this game. Everybody's looking forward to the LSU game. Everybody's talking about the LSU game. But you got to focus on this game at hand here in Little Rock yeah. at War Memorial. I think the fans are all thinking about LSU and the BCS, but I think the players mm -hmm. are worried about Mississippi State and going out with the bang. Some of these seniors, it's their last chance to play at War Memorial Stadium. All right, let's take a look at some of that team walk video. The guys came through here about 30 minutes ago. Uh, the cops let him out, and then it's Bobby Petrino. He's the first one out of the bus, as always. It, you see the smile on Coach Petrino? <laughs> he had that the entire time. He was lighthearted today, I'm telling you. That's With what his you leather jacket see. on. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it a members-only jacket? Did it, did it look like, speaking of 1989, did it look like a members-only jacket he had on? London Fall. <laughs> one thing I noticed on the team walk was Tyler Wilson. He was walking with the offensive line, but yeah. a lot of times the quarterback will be walking with his wide receivers or the running backs or other quarterbacks. Tyler Wilson was with his offensive line. There's a bond being built there. He needs those guys, man. I mean, this has got to be something that's going on for the next couple of years. Those guys need to bond with him. They need to sit with him, eat with him, and everything else. They need to do it all together. There's Jake Beckett, the senior out of Little Rock Catholic. He paid all of his high school games here at War Memorial Stadium, and now – He's got one more chance to play at War Memorial Stadium. It's guys like Jake Beckett, Joe Adams, the guys from the Warren guys from Central and around Central Arkansas. Mm -hmm. This is their chance to play one more time. Well, there's Anthony Lucas. He joins us now in the Hog What's Zone. Up, everybody, what's <laughs> up, Anthony? I got one question for you. Yes, sir. Actually, I got a bunch, but my first question: the number 157. Does oh. that mean anything to you? A 157. Lot. Yeah, it, means, it means a whole lot, actually. But, uh, Hey, they're made to be broken, so <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. They're made to be broken, and uh, Jerry's, I know he's going to get it, and when he gets it, I just want to be able to be, able to be there, just shake his hand, give him a big hug, and tell him congratulations. Jerry's right is 157 yards behind Anthony Lucas on the all-time reception yards list. Anthony, does he get it today? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm kind of in between. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's going to get it today. I think he's going to get it either this week or next week for sure. Yeah. Foundation, the Burles kids, you got all kinds of things going on with Marty Burlesworth these days. Marty, you got the Burles kids here today. It's the Burles way. Where are the kids from? Uh, Burles kids today are from McGee. Got a great group of kids McGee. here today. Isn't that right, guys? Y'all having fun today? <laughs> All high right. school football team keeps winning down there. Yeah, right. Good that's high right. school football team in McGee. <laughs> yeah. Still in the playoffs, rolling. 
You guys excited for this game? Yes, yeah. sir. All right, that's what we like to hear. Yeah, these, these kids are all seeing their very first Razorback game today, so a tremendous opportunity getting to see a great game, too. How long have y'all been doing this, bringing this, kids to their first game? It's our 11th year. What Doesn't, kind of impact does that make when a kid gets his first opportunity to see a Razorback well, game? Well, you know, with a lot of the kids that we affect, uh, you know, every week, it's the first opportunity they've ever got, you know, to see a game like this, a lot of them. Maybe, you know, really had limited opportunities, haven't been even out of their own hometown. So, you know, things like that that we can do. And it's not only bringing them to a game, but they're giving life lessons, you know, before they leave their hometown. They're getting Brandon's story, what he did, what he overcame, how he worked hard, and, uh, you know, just his Christ-like attitude and, and uh, the way he tried to live his life so that they know anything's possible if they put their mind to it, work hard, and keep the faith. Uh, believe in yourself. Marty, thank you for what you do. Thank you, guys. Thank you I for keeping the memory alive. It's right. an awesome thing that you are doing. Guys, have a lot of fun today. Call on those hogs. You better root them on to a win, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> the girls' kids. <laughs> well, you know, not everybody here at War Memorial Stadium is a Razorback fan. I've seen a couple of Mississippi State Bulldog fans walking around, and Ayana caught up with a very unique family this week. Well, it's kind of interesting. It's a family rivalry. It's on one side, you got the mother and father, and the other side, you got the son and daughter. And it's not the traditional family feud. It's hogs versus dogs. It's an intense rivalry. Not on the football field, but inside. <laughs> the crystal house on one side of the living room, the parents. On the other side, the kids. Michael and Marcia Crystal both grew up in Mississippi and graduated from Mississippi State. And Michael's job brought him deep into Razorback territory. I'm a big fan of Razorback football. And living in Arkansas, you have to be. I only cheer against the Hogs this one time of the year. And because I'm an alumnus of Mississippi State, we've been competing against Arkansas for years. But living in Little Rock and living in the state of Arkansas, you have to be a diehard Razorback fan, and I am a diehard Razorback fan, except for this Saturday. I am totally split. Anytime that I hear that the Razorbacks are playing, I am definitely cheering for them. I'm cheering for the team, the coaches, and I'm wanting them to win. But when they're playing Mississippi State and the Bulldogs, that's when my fever comes out, and I want the Bulldogs to win. And when daughter Lauren decided to head to the hill, she never looked back, and that's when the friendly family feud began. When I was growing up, I was a big Bulldog fan. And now that I go to the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville, I'm a big Razorback fan. Oh. Razorback! My dad was, is a big Bulldog fan, has been for many years, and I had to let him know that it's Team Razorbacks now. Now 16-year-old Brandon wants to follow in Big Sis's footsteps. Well, for years, my father's been talking to me about going to Mississippi State. But since we moved to Little Rock, am I going to the University of Arkansas? Go Razorbacks! As for who's going to win? I'm hoping they're going to pull off the victory tomorrow. They're going to pull off the victory tomorrow. Tomorrow, I hate to say this, Razorbacks, it's going to be a sad day tomorrow. It's all about the Bulldogs. The dogs are going to bite at the ankle at the beginning of the game. With the Bulldogs being one in five in the SEC, the Razorbacks will have no problem spanking them. It truly is a house divided, <laughs> split two to two. Even the youngest Crystal five-year-old Jalen tries to keep the peace, but we all know who he's really rooting for. Go win the best. <laughs> now it's truly a win-win for them. They're just happy that either team wins, yeah. either one comes out on top, and they are related. They are my family, Crystal House. So. <laughs> very, Mississippi, Arkansas. Very unique situation there. <laughs> All right, we're, we got a lot more coming up on Hogs on Super Saturday. Sean Arnell's ready to step in from the Sports Animal 920. We got Trey Biddy. We got more former Razorbacks. We'll see what it's like on the golf course. Big show still left. Stick around. We'll be right back.
One of the great things about coming to War Memorial Stadium is the tailgating, the atmosphere over at the golf course. THV's Lauren Clark spent the morning mingling with some fans. She has more from the golf course. Come this time in November especially, this is the spot to be at. Josh Parker and his crew have reserved their space the past four years, and he's proud of his most recent accessory. Tell me about the new balloon. Got this balloon out of California. What it does is it lets everyone know where the party is. They call, I say just look for the balloon with the Mississippi State flag upside down. Speaking of upside down, Logan and Cameron stopped their football game for a minute to chat. My jersey is to support Tyler Wilson and the Hogs. I think Tyler Wilson's the strongest quarterback in all of football. He has a great arm and he's just real tough and great. We're Razorback out. Yeah, everybody's got Razorback on everything. The door on the truck, even on our punch bowl over there. Anybody ready for some good grub? Barbecue and fried fish. On the way to go. You going to join us? Gerald Turner is grilling for more than 50 friends, and Carter Kimbrough's cooking for about 15. Razorback chili. Hot pot of Razorback chili for the winning team today. So some of these tailgaters don't even have tickets, and there are a few clouds in the sky before kickoff. But it just goes to show, nothing is going to stop these Arkansas Razorback fans from having a great time at War Memorial. We bring our monkeys with us every time we tailgate. This is me and my husband, our son, and we have a new daughter-in-law. So we have a new monkey with us this time. 34 to 7, Arkansas. I predict that's the win. Yeah, there you go. That chili looks like a win. It's going to be awesome. It's got awesome food for an awesome game. So I think Arkansas is going to take it all the way. I think we'd be somewhere 34 to 7. Got to win, baby. That's it. With Bobby Petrino, that's all we do. Hey! In Little Rock for today's THV, I'm Lauren Clark. Oh, it's a great place to be. This is the place to be. I mean, people mark this game, these two games, on their schedule when they're coming to Little Rock. Trey Biddy joins us now from hogsports.com to talk a little recruiting. It's a great year, Trey. They're having a lot of success. They're moving up in the BCS rankings. How is that going over into the recruiting side of things? Is it helping? Got to be tilted. Got to be tilting yeah. towards well, us nationally. There are a lot of big names left there. They've got 20 slots filled up, but what you're probably going to see, it happens every year, there'll be a little bit of attrition off that, whether it's grades or somebody decides to go a different direction or something Trey, like that. thanks for your time. It's always good to get a recruiting update from Trey Biddy. Hogsports.com, go check out his fine work over there. They always have a free seven-day trial. Yeah, Hogsports.com, <laughs> Hitchman. <laughs> All right, guys, coming up next, I see Lucas Miller, Matt Harris. Elston Forte. Elston Forte. We got a long list of guys still to go. Stick around. We'll be right back. Razorbacks, well, you've been out tailgating, walking around with the fans. What's the atmosphere like? It's blown up right now. Everybody is in a great mood today. <laughs> so, I wonder why. <laughs> I, because I, Oklahoma State last night, and we got a great shot up ahead of, of us. happy, happy fans. Well, Cyclone yeah. fans around here walking yeah. around. They're hey, we're on the same page today. I, I don't know if y'all noticed, but when the team walk came in, crowd was going crazy, and at the end of the team walk, you just hear these boos. Like, what? what is going on with the boos? <laughs> One guy in an LSU sweatshirt. Uh, <laughs> good. Those Everybody's guys always show up. Good. They always show good. up. It's like, what are you doing here? Why? There, there's that chance. There's the fear that the team is thinking about LSU, looking ahead to LSU. No. Playing it in Little Rock, playing at War Memorial Stadium with everything on the line, are you concerned of them uh, looking ahead? Not at all. I, this team, a Mississippi State team, Years ago, there was a, that famous saying, bring the wood. you got to come to play against Mississippi State. They ever Wouldn't forget the big picture. And so that's yeah. what they're trying to get to. That's what they're game planning for. Game. And like Matt said, it's their last time playing in the Rock. Yeah. And you want to leave, leave a lasting impression. Guys, you got me feeling good. Yeah. Uh, I remember? think they're going to be all right tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by. Yep. Good to see Always you. A good Always. Time. All right, stick around. we got much more Pogs on Super Saturday when we come back. They remember in November. They remember. Welcome back to Hog Zone Super Saturday. The Razorbacks <laughs> band making its way into War Memorial Stadium. They're Almost getting the crowd done. fired up. Got some chill bumps right here. That's pretty cool. Good place to be outside gate 11. Joining us now, Elston Forte, Jerry Wright, a couple former Razorbacks. 
<laughs> this gets you fired up when you got the band coming by and playing? Most definitely, man. You know, it just uh, sends that energy, sends that that fuel that gives you, gives you you know, makes you want to get on the field and hit somebody, man. It's pretty exciting. Every game day, I miss it. I don't know about you yet, but every game day, I walk out, I feel the environment. I miss it every single game. Right. We were in uh, Oxford a couple of weeks ago, and Jerry did the post game show with us. <laughs> we were on the field, and Jerry took a moment to run out on the field and pretend he was catching some, <laughs> an offensive lineman catching some passes on the field. You could see how much he misses SEC football. We don't get to touch the ball much as the offensive lineman. <laughs> I, I got to dream a little bit. Talk about the <laughs> offensive line because I thought last week against Tennessee it may have been their best performance to date? It has been. A lot of the, the running game that you see is finally coming along. The protection is, is coming together. A great job of these guys blending and building that chemistry as they go through the season. But what they help is you have the running game that complements the passing game. The protection is there. It all comes together, and that's really where we're at, kind of building into a crescendo at the end of the season when you want to be playing your best football. Elston, do you ever call Coach Petrino or talk to Coach <laughs> Petrino and say, look, man, you know, I got another year left. I can suit up. Man, you know, I am young, man. You know, <laughs> if all dreams came true. Man. But now, you know, I just, from the outside looking in, you know, I just always make sure that I, they, they know that I'm here to support them. Welcome back to Hog Zone Super Saturday. And if you're from Arkansas, at every game, everybody knows about Tusk. So here joining me now is Julie Stokes. Thanks for joining us. Hi. All right, so talk about the whole Tusk experience. It's, it's, it's a great experience. When we're on the road with Tusk, it's like we're a rolling pep rally. We've got music, we stop, we draw a crowd everywhere we go. We call it, we say it's like traveling with a rock star. Everywhere we go, we have people, they love him. They love Tusk and he's just like our child. I mean, we love him too. He's a member of our family. And talk a little bit about his personality. I've been sitting here for a couple minutes and I can tell he's pretty funny. He is, he sure is. He's very spunky. He's the first Tusk that we've actually had on our farm since birth. So he thinks he's one of us. And he likes to play and he's very, very interactive with people. He loves people. And talk about what it means to the Arkansas community to have Tusk at these games. I think it's very important and I think that they are, you know, I don't know if people, most people realize what a great opportunity it is. We are one of the only, in fact, we're, there's Uga and us that are the only line mascots where the, the father actually sires the replacement and that's very unique and I think everybody in this state embraces the fact that we have such a unique mascot and he is loved by everybody. Now I heard he's a fan of grapes. He loves grapes. Are you up to feeding yeah. him some grapes? Tell me what I need to do to feed him. You need to just hold it right in front. Don't try to go in at the side. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ayana. <laughs> hey, we got to go. The guys at CBS are ready to take over. Don't forget, we'll be back here for the post game show from 6 to 7. Yeah, post game. Big show lined up. Thanks for watching. Remember, the news is always on today's THV.com. Is she still over there interviewing? making today's THV Arkansas's news leader and most watched television station. The latest news and weather are on todaysthv.com.